for joining us tonight. Madison police are investigating another armed robbery, this time on the west side in the parking lot of the Walgreens on Raymond Road. And police are trying to see if this robbery is connected at all to the two carjackings that happened at daycare centers last week. Amanda Quintana live now on Raymond Road with why police say this continues to be an alarming situation. Amanda? Yes, well, in all of these cases, children were in the car. Here, where it happened in the parking lot on Saturday, there was a two-year-old in the car who saw a gun pointed at their grandfather, and then their grandfather was taken and thrown to the ground. Now, in this case, the car was not stolen. That's different from the carjackings, of course, but there are a lot of similarities. I have young teenagers that they, they close in the store at 7 o'clock. So if this is happening, then we're going to have to think, like, either close the store earlier or move, or because this is not good. When Dora Zagorski heard about the family robbed at gunpoint in the parking lot right outside her dry cleaner, she got a little emotional. If I was by myself, it would be one thing, but if I have children in the car, that's really scary. This isn't the first act of violence around the neighborhood on Raymond Road, but this incident has her rethinking her business location. It's a lot of money to relocate, to take the whole thing, and, but I don't know, do I want to come face to face with somebody with a gun? No. That's exactly what happened to a family on Saturday. After shopping at Walgreens, the grandparents, daughters, and two-year-old grandchild got into their car to leave when a young man ran up with a gun, grabbing the grandfather by the neck and throwing him to the ground, taking off with three purses. Very brazen, uh, very unheard of, really, for Madison, although we've now seen three cases in the last week that are somewhat similar. On Wednesday, two masked men pointed a gun at a father in the car with his three-year-old at La Petite Academy Daycare. Thursday, a similar story, this time with three kids at Great Beginnings Arbor Hills. MPD believes these two carjackings are connected and are now trying to figure out if the one at Walgreens is, too. Certainly, the descriptions are similar, but the descriptions are also fairly generic. Tall, thin, teenager, wearing dark clothing, ski mask, that sort of thing. Joel Despain says this is alarming. These should be safe spaces, daycares, drugstores at 5 or 6 o'clock at night. But Zagorski knows even though they should be, these recent events are proving they are not always safe. I want to survive. I want my business to stay open and succeed. But at the same time, I don't want somebody dying right there. That's not worth it to me. MPD believes they do have some good leads on the suspects of the carjackings that took place at the daycare. But as for the investigation of what went on here, they still are just starting that and still just trying to figure out if they're all connected. All right, Amanda Quintana live along Raymond Road tonight. Amanda, thank you. Madison Police.